Hi I'm Annie Sullivan and today in this video I'm going to interviewing myself on this video and the interviewer is going to ask me questions about my life and more. So, let's get started. Hi, my name is Annie Mansfield Sullivan. Most people called me Annie Sullivan or Annie. Hi, Annie what month are you born in and what year are you born on? I was born April 14, 2002. And how old are you? I'm 22 years old. What is your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is Aries. Wow, that's cool. So tell us about yourself. Do you have any family members or any siblings? I was born on Feeding Hills, Agoam, Massachusetts, United States. I grew up in a small town with my family. I had a mum her name was Alice Sullivan, my dad's name was Thomas Sullivan. My younger brother named was Jimmy Sullivan but eventually my parents and my younger brother were dead. Jimmy and I were at the asylum in Tewkesbury. I was the oldest sibling of my family. My family were very poor and didn't have a lot of money. My family were immigrants. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. What school do you went to? I went to Perkins School for the Blind in Boston, Massachusetts. I graduated from School for the Blind when I was in the early 20s. Wow, that's interesting. Do you have any pets in your life? No, I do not. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue, pink and green and sometimes I like black too but not most of the time. Wow, that's cool. What job did you do? What kind of job do you have? My job is a being a teacher. I love to work with students who are blind or deaf or even deaf blind and other disabilities. I'm also a teacher for Helen Keller. Also I advocate for people with disabilities including LGBTQ. Wow, that's really cool. What's your sexual orientation and what is your gender pronouns? My sexual orientation is lesbian, which means that I'm attracted to women who are romantically, sexually and attractive. My pronouns is she, her or hers. Wow, that's interesting. Do you have any friends? Or close friends? Actually yes I do. My friends are, Imagination is Magic, Pez Squarepants, Helen Keller, Fartface, George Washington, Bruno Madrigal, and more but imagination is magic and I were really close friends. We both had a deep connection and a strong bond together, we both understood each other very well. Wow, that's really cool. I have a question to ask you. Are you dating anyone? Or are you single or are you married? Actually yes I am dating, I'm dating imagination is magic, but she did have a girlfriend named Mary Poppins once her girlfriend had passed away. Imagination is magic really missed her so much and very deeply so. That's why she and I both are so close to each other and have a strong connection to each other. I feel like I haven't known someone who's had a similar connection with me and understood me really well. That's when I met Imagination is magic. Things have changed in my life and I changed her life too. So yeah, I'm their miracle worker, I helped her out just like I did with Helen. Imagination is magic and I are very close and have a strong connection with each other. Imagination is magic and I understood each other very deeply and have a strong connection and more. Wow, that's really cool. It sounds like you really love imagination is magic. I bet she loves you too. Yes I do. So, Annie? What kinds of things do you like to do for fun? I love to splash and play in the water, I like to socialize, I like to make videos, I like to teach my students about ASL, I love to help people, I love to hang out with my friends, and more. Wow, that's really cool. How long were you being as Helen's teacher? Historically, Helen and I had a strong friendship on over 49 years. I was being her teacher and long companion for a long time. Wow, that's really interesting. Do you like to sing or dance? Yes I do I love singing and dancing, it's so much fun and besides I love to listen to music too. Wow, that's really interesting. So, Annie, I have a question to ask you and I know it's personal. Hmm, um, okay so, what's the question? The question is why do you wear dark glasses on your eyes? That's a good question. The real reason why I wear dark glasses is to help my eyes and prevent my eyes from light because I had a lot of problems with my eyesight when I was a kid, but, when I was 15 years old, 
I got nine operations in my eyes to help me to restore my vision and help me see but although, it doesn't seem to be helping so that's why I wear dark glasses to keep my eyes protected from light and I'm also visual impaired. It means that I do have a little bit of vision but not really. So yeah I'm apparently visually impaired for the rest of my life. Wow, that's really interesting. So you're saying that you're not completely blind? Is that true? Yes that's true. I am not completely blind but I'm visually impaired. Blindness and visual impaired are two different meanings. Well I am a little bit of blind, but mostly visually impaired so yeah you can definitely say that. Wow, that's really cool and interesting. So how do you help and teach Helen even though she's deaf and blind? Well, historically, when I first met Helen and she was 7 years old and she was completely blind and deaf, her parents used to spoil her without discipline and pity her because they didn't know how to teach her discipline and obedience. Helen was a wild child and she's also very bright too, so that's why I had to teach Helen myself because her parents were spoiled her with some sort of pity. I taught Helen to have self-discipline with love and respect, even though it's tough. The only way I can reach her is by using ASL and manual alphabet of the meaning of the word, so that's why. Wow, that's quite interesting there, Miss Sullivan. Yes it is, sometimes I use ASL communicate with imagination is magic too. Wow, that's amazing, is imagination is magic deaf blind like Helen Keller or is she deaf? Imagination is magic is hearing impaired and so she has some difficulty with her hearing and that's why I used ASL to communicate with her and understand me, but we both understood each other really well. We both had a strong deeply connection and had a strong bond in our relationship. Wow, that's really impressive. I expected that one blind person and one hearing impaired person would have a good understanding and strong connection between the two. It sounds like you and imagination as magic are very compatible with each other, had a strong bond in your relationship with her. I can definitely see how you two are very connected to each other. Yes, that is definitely true. So, Annie are you excited to vote this year? Apparently, yes I am. Imagination is magic and I are both excited to vote for our next President of the United States. Hopefully Kamala Harris will definitely win this election and be our President of this country. I know, right. I assume that Kamala will definitely win this election, because we definitely cannot stand in Trump any longer. Oh, yeah that's Mr. Trump. I don't like Donald Trump either because I think he's the worst president in history and besides he only cares about himself and money nobody else. Whoever wants to have a president like that. I don't think that's a president and apparently I think Donald wants to be a dictator instead of a president because he's just trying to hurt people. He mostly cares about himself with money and power, tear down this country and our government. Honestly, I agreed with you too, Miss Sullivan. Thank you for having an interview with me today, Miss Sullivan. I appreciate you so much. It's so nice to learn about you and Helen Keller. Why thank you, I appreciate it so much. I think our interview went very well. I'm so glad of being here and answering questions about my life and more. You're welcome, Miss Sullivan. Bye, have a great day. Bye Annie. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Imagination is Magic's channel, comment below and share your thoughts on this video. If you have any questions about me please comment below and I'll see you in the next video. This is Annie Sullivan signing off. Bye.